everybody. I didn't announce that I was going to be on, so um, I'm going to give this a minute or two to see if anybody jumps on here. Hi, Debbie. I'm going to wait just a second to see if anyone gets a notification. Um, I've had several people texting me and sending messages today and asking how uh, Mary and little Linda's doing. And so I just texted her and thought I would get on to just give y'all a little update. Um, and so um, talked to Mary twice today and I've texted Linda and texted Carla. Um, Mary is feeling better. She had a rough morning, but she's feeling better, a little better this afternoon. And I guess this is the way this stuff goes. You feel bad and then you feel a little better and you think you can get up and start doing something. And she just, she just uh, is not strong enough yet to really be up a long time and to do anything. Carla planted some flowers in her yard that Mary had bought. And so she got that done today, and they looked beautiful. She posted pictures of them. Um, but Mary wants to be up and doing things, but we've all cautioned her that she needs to get well. We want her well so she can be back on here with us. And uh, so we're really trying to uh, encourage her to take it easy um, so when she does get well, she can get back in and we can be on our regular videos again like we normally are. Little Linda has had a rough time. Uh, she is feeling better. Her voice is stronger. Um, she called me yesterday on my birthday, and she could barely even talk. Her voice was so bad. But Mary said it's a little better today. Both of her boys have it, and they're sleeping a lot. So I want y'all to remember Mary, Little Linda, and Nathan and Brayden when you pray. Um, they're, you know, they're doing what they can to, to get over this, but, um, I just wanted to kind of give everybody an update because I know how it is when you're not there with them. You're, you're wanting to know I'm not there either, but I'm in close contact with them. And, uh, it's just, it's like, you just want to know something. You want to do something. You want, you want things to be better and you want things to be back to normal. Uh, so I thought that we uh, really wanted to let y'all know um, kind of where they're at right now. Mary doesn't have any temperature, neither does little Linda, which that's very good news. Their oxygen levels are great. They're monitoring that, and they're drinking plenty of fluid. So they're doing everything that they know to do to get over this uh, uh, bad disease that has swept the country and the world for the last couple of years. So. Keep them in your prayers. And uh, on, a, on a, another note or a lighter note, I want to personally thank everyone, or not personally, but thank everyone here in this message for all of the beautiful birthday messages, text calls, um, uh, pictures, cards, uh, uh, everything that y'all done yesterday was just very overwhelming to me. It was a different kind of day because I was uh, not able to be with my sister, which normally we would have gone out and got something to eat or been together, but under the circumstances, that wasn't possible. So she was very disappointed, and so was I. But, you know, my important thing and the important goal was for her and Linda and the boys to get well. So, you know, it was another day, um, another year older. Thank God I'm still here. I'm still able to do what I want and need to do and I appreciate and thank God for that. So thank you all for your kindness yesterday on my birthday and um, uh, I really do appreciate it. Um, occasionally we'll keep uh, something, I usually keep like a couple things here in the freezer that's kind of just quick and easy to fix. I don't like convenience foods and I don't use them on a daily basis, sometimes not even on a monthly basis, but I try to keep something in the freezer that if we don't want to cook a big meal that we can just pop something in the oven. So um, I had this pack of uh, chicken, I think they're called chicken bites, and I don't even know the brand of them, but I knew that it had three different levels of heat on the outside, and they usually 
uh, enclosed like a little packet of uh, barbecue sauce. So it was, one of them was really hot and I don't know what the exact title was, extra hot or, or hot as fire or something. That might have been what it said. Then there was a medium and then there was a mild. So um, Mike was going to fix some few little potato logs for us to eat with the chicken. And uh, so I hope I can tell this without getting hysterical. So I told him, he said, what kind of, which sauce do you want to use? Mike is not a real big spicy fan like Mary's not. I love spice, and I can't eat anything quite as hot as what I used to could a few years ago, but I still like hot stuff. My pink mom, on her days before she died, she was still eating hot stuff. She loved hot stuff, and I do too. So I told him, I said, well, don't use the hot. Just mix the uh, medium and the, and the mild, and I said, and put that on it. And he fixed the potato logs, and when he brought me my plate and I took a bite of that chicken there's not too many times that I say something is hot that chicken was hot as fire not with fire but with spice and Mike started eating it and he got so tickled he couldn't even talk he got so tickled he said I don't know if anybody's ever been admitted to ER with their tongue on fire or not. And it was, it was so hilarious. He was laughing so hard. He said, I think I may have to go, which he was, he was kidding. He wasn't serious, but it was so funny. And I think I, I don't make iced tea often, but I wanted some tea. So I made a picture of iced tea, which I like it sweet. I do not like artificial sweeteners. And I drank two huge glasses of tea with that. And I didn't even eat all of mine that he put on my plate. I couldn't eat it all. It was so hot. So we kind of learned a lesson. If I ever buy that brand again, we will not be putting the medium on there. The medium was very hot. So anyway, I thought that was funny. So I've been working um, all day on two things. I've been working on recipes. I got all the recipes ready for next week. And um, y'all have been so good to support us through this, uh, through the illness with uh, COVID with Mary and Little Linda and the boys. And I know it's not as fun. It's, you know, our brand is sisters and we're in the kitchen together. But I really appreciate y'all watching the videos with me by myself. Um, just like you would if Mary was by herself. I appreciate you sharing. I appreciate you commenting. Um, the winner that we drew the other day, that um, that will be mailed on Monday for the tomato knife. Uh, I started to say it was mailed, then I remembered I did stop at the post office yesterday, but it will be mailed Monday. Uh, so I really appreciate y'all um, banding together and watching the videos that I'm doing while Mary is uh, recuperating and getting well. As far as we know, this week um, I will be cooking by myself unless Mary feels like one day uh, cooking but I don't think that she will I don't want her to do anything uh, too soon and I don't want her to give herself out so I've got my recipes lined up for the week it's going to be some really good things and they're not going to be hard to make it'll be easy I'm doing I'm doing one casserole I'm doing a sandwich and I'm doing a cookie and I won't tell y'all what they are, but they're all really good. I just got the recipes typed today. So um, y'all be sure to join us and uh, join me, uh, which I think it'll just be me this week. I know, I know we won't be cooking together because Mary has got to completely get over COVID before we can be together again cooking. So I appreciate y'all watching me and, um, and hanging in there with me. And I'll show you what else I've been working on today. I finally got it finished. And I don't, uh, I don't have my, I won't put this on my table until probably another week or so. But I've been working on a red, white, and blue arrangement for Memorial Day. And this is my arrangement that I made this morning. So I've got my little flag in the middle of it. And I love red, white, and blue. It's in a little white basket. And y'all know that I'm not a decorator, I'm not a designer, but uh, my sister is excellent at doing this. My mama was too. Mary took after mama, and I didn't, but I kind of picked up a few things um, 
over the years, you know, just kind of, you know, watching and observing. So it's certainly not professional and it's not like what my sister would have done, but this is my arrangement that I'll have on the table in a few days. So I'm going to show y'all that. And um, let's see, what else we're going to do? Um, for y'all that don't know um, our recipes, we offer a member service, which is on our uh, PinkyMouseKitchen.com website. That's where our recipes are. That's where they are all there from, since October of last year. Um, it's a small monthly charge, and it doesn't cost for y'all to watch our videos. And um, I'm not sure how we'll do this week because I don't know if the recipes will be on there this week that I'm uh, doing this week. But if they don't get on there this week, we'll get them on as soon as possible. And I'll try to make sure that y'all know what I'm doing. So if you wanted to make it um, after I get through the video, you could. I'll try my best to let y'all know uh, what I'm putting in. Most of the things I'm doing are pretty easy and pretty simple anyway. So um, let's see, what else is on tap for this week? Um, we postponed the book signing. We're not going to have that right now. We want to make sure everybody's well, and it may be postponed even until the fall. But for right now, we're not going to have the book signing. Um, and um, if you, like I said, if you want to order Mama's book or our cookbook or one of our aprons or something, go to our website, PinkyMouseKitchen.com. If you want to become a member, PinkyMouseKitchen.com. And um, we hope to have some new merchandise on there soon. I don't know how soon it'll be now since we've kind of been delayed uh, with the sickness. Um, also, for everyone that's ordered, um, I know we've had lots of inquiries, lots of emails, and Carla is working on them. She has just, she's been multitasking, taking care of her mom, uh, running back and forth, taking medicine and, and food, and dropping it off at Linda's house. and. She doesn't go in, she just leaves it outside the door and they pick it up. Um, so Carla's got her hands full too, say a prayer for her. And um, uh, she she and I both are well, thank, thank the Lord. And uh, Chuck and Mike are well, so we, we thank God for that. Um, but if you placed an order and you haven't received your order, you will get it. It's just that it took a while we were about three weeks behind on printing invoices, and we are so very sorry that uh, we got behind from the trips and then the sickness. It just that we just could not get them printed any quicker than that. But you, sh if you placed an order up until Thursday of last week, your books have been mailed. Your orders have been mailed, so you should receive them by mid to the end of this coming week. So. If you don't, you can certainly let me know. Also, I want to let y'all know, Mary has the business phone. She is not able to answer that. She's not able to answer the calls, and she's not able to answer any messages. So if you need something, you probably just need to send us an email through Pinky Malls or either um, uh, if it's something urgent, you can text me. Um, there's another thing that I need to bring to your attention, and I haven't had a chance to take care of this yet, but I'm going to try to in a little bit. If you get a message from me, for those of you who are friends with me, if you get a message from me on Messenger or Instagram, do not open it. Evidently, somebody is, I don't know what they've done anyway. I don't know how they do it. It's just something else to cause us something else, um, more trouble that we have to do, but I'm, I'm going to get it taken care of just as soon as I can for the weekend. So, so in the meantime, just don't open an audio message or a, a message on Messenger or Instagram from me personally, from Linda Pinkston Dalton. So um, that's not Pinky Miles, that's from me personally. I think that's all I'm supposed to say. Uh, thank you again, everyone, for your love and support, for your prayers, and... Um, for hanging in there with us during this little health crisis but we're going to get through it and we'll be back to telling our stories um, uh, before you know it so be sure to watch our videos be sure to like our videos each individual one if you will do that that helps us and um, I really appreciate it and Mary appreciates it and so do the girls and also share uh, there's still a lot of people 
that um, don't know about us. And it's um, not that I think that it's, it's funny to us anyway when somebody thinks we're popular. You know, we, we're just Mary and Linda. That's who we are. But um, I've said this over and over again. There's enough junk on social media that we try to have a positive, have a fun uh, program and uh, hopefully you can learn something. And if not, maybe it just puts a smile on your face. And that's what we want to do. We want to, you know, we want to, to let y'all know that, you know, we're not doing this for, um, for show or for numbers. We have people that, you know, say, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Somebody, somebody the other day was kind of funny. You know, you always have, have naysayers, but somebody the other day uh, uh, was comical. They said they weren't going to watch us anymore because another cooking show, they didn't do it this way. They, they did it this way. Well, we're not another cooking show. We're Mary and Linda. We're Pink Mile Sisters in the Kitchen. We film live, which if no one has ever done, no one has ever filmed live, unscripted, you, you're not editing a video like you would if it was not filmed live. So that's why our videos might not, or are not perfect, or one reason they're not. And uh, that's not important to us. It's important for us to convey our message and to uh, enjoy it and hopefully put a little bright spot in your day. Y'all certainly put a bright spot in ours. We love y'all. We would love to meet every one of you. We would love to hug every one of you and tell y'all in person how much you mean to us. But hopefully we are showing that by us being on here. And I hope that you can feel the love that Mary and I have for you and for each other and for our family and for God. And uh, I know that we certainly do feel the love from y'all. So God bless. Have a wonderful weekend. And thank you again for all the birthday wishes. And thank you for praying for my sister and for little Linda and her boys and for me and Carla and for Mike and Chuck. We really, really do appreciate it from the bottom of our heart. I love y'all, Mary loves y'all, so uh, we'll be back together soon, but I'll be in the kitchen cooking Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, unless Mary feels well enough to do something, but I'm not counting on that. I'm planning on cooking next week again by myself. So uh, y'all join me and uh, be sure to tell your friends about us. God bless, and don't forget to count your blessings. Bye-bye.